Okay. Uh, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, today's topic is uh, about uh, nutrients and um, their nature and function. Uh, we all know that in order to uh, survive uh, for any life form, uh, for different aspects of life, for example, for uh, growth, for maintenance, for production and for health of the animals, uh, feed uh, is a basic uh, requirement for all uh, life forms. So uh, the chemical substances uh, which are found in the feed materials, uh, these uh, can be used and are necessary for uh, these uh, uh, different aspects of life. For example, growth, maintenance, production and health of the animals. Uh, <clears throat> if we uh, classify these uh, uh, nutrients, um, we can uh, classify these nutrients in uh, different uh, uh, categories. For example, uh, uh, primary nutrients and secondary nutrients. And uh, uh, primary nutrients are those nutrients which are required in larger amounts for di performing different functions of, uh, to the body. And uh, sec uh, secondary nutrients are those uh, which are uh, uh, required by the body in, in very minute or very small quantities. So based on this classification, if we see uh, the primary uh, nutrients include water, carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids. Whereas in case of uh, secondary uh, nutrients, uh, these include uh, minerals and vitamins. So basically two categories. And uh, also uh, we can categorize or classify the nutrients on the basis of their nature. For example, if these are, whether these are organic or inorganic, like uh, minerals are inorganic in nature and uh, water is also inorganic in nature and carbohydrates, proteins, lipids or fats and vitamins. These all are organic sources of uh, uh, nutrients. So uh, basically these two type of classification exists uh, uh, which uh, which have been um, I mean told you uh, the basic uh, nutrient of life is water. Water is the most uh, uh, I would say ab abundant and the cheapest nutrient in nature, and uh, it is the most essential nutrient because life cannot exist without it. The percentage of water in the body of a newborn it varies between sixty to seventy percent whereas it decreases with the increasing age. For example, a mature animal body contains 45 to 55% of the water and uh, blood contains 90% and eggs contain 66% uh, of this uh, water. Similarly, water is also uh, present in plants. Water percentage varies with the different parts of the plant. Leaves are the richest uh, source or uh, the reservoir uh, contains and contains about 85% of the water. Grains or seeds have, uh, I mean, almost 20% water on fresh basis. So what are different functions of water overall if we discuss in animal body? First of all, water is a universal solvent. And uh, uh, if uh, based on this uh, uh, property of the water, we can say that uh, it helps in the transportation of different nutrients from one part of the body to another part. Secondly, uh, water <clears throat> helps in digestion, absorption and excretion. Thirdly, it regulates body temperature in warm blooded animals. Fourthly, it lubricates and cushions the joints and organs of the body. Fifthly, fifth, uh, fifth number point uh, explains the chemical sol uh, its chemical solvent property for biochemical reactions. Uh, then it also maintains the shape of the body cells. And lastly, help in the respiration uh, in, in respiration by moistening uh, alveoli. So, what are different sources uh, of water in animals? The first and foremost and very basic source for uh, water is in animals is drinking water. Then uh, the second source is water which is contained in the field and third source is metabolic water. Metabolic water actually uh, is produced during various metabolic reactions in the body. 
and uh, uh, if we talk about water intake it is a uh, uh, what drinking of water under normal conditions is known as water intake how much water intake in different species of livestock and poultry uh, for poultry uh, two parts of water for each one part of the dry feed and in case of sheep one to three gallons per head per day um, it consumes in a day and uh, in case of cattle and horse um, the water consumption or water intake is 10 to 14 gallons per head per day however water intake is definitely variable it depends on different factors like uh, environmental te temperature we know that uh, water intake increases with increasing temperature then is a second factor is humidity low humidity it results in an increased uh, uh, water intake third is type of feed i mean if high moisture feeds uh, are being uh, taken then it results in decreased water intake and uh, higher protein or salt level they may result in increasing water intake uh, fourthly, um, the, uh, the fourth uh, fourth factor is function of the animals. For example, if animals in production, that is uh, lactating cows or egg laying hens, etc., they have higher water intake as compared to the same weight of non lactating cows or non laying hens, respectively. So uh, these are uh, different factors which affect the water intake in, in uh, animals. How uh, water is lost from animal body? Uh, there, there are different phenomena or different uh, procedures, processes like uh, uh, as a result of urine, uh, water is lost from the body. As a result of feces, some portion of the water is lost from the body. Uh, thirdly, insensible losses like uh, vaporization from the lungs and dissipation through the skin. Uh, fourth one is sweat from the sweat glands. Uh, so these are four water uh, sources for, uh, I mean, uh, or... Uh, water losses from animal body. Uh, water absorptions in the body, water is actually absorbed readily from most sections of gastrointestinal tract. And uh, if all, I mean, uh, all species, uh, water is absorbed from the large intestine. But the amount of water absorbed, it varies considerably from species to species. Like uh, sheep and camel, they show excellent water absorption which is evident uh, from their uh, low fecal moisture content. So net absorption in ruminants, it takes place in the rumen uh, and uh, omism. So I think uh, that was all about uh, uh, water. Uh, see you in the next recording. Thank you.